Step 1. Understand why anonymity matters. Imagine stepping into a crowded room where everyone knows your name, your details, your habits. That's today's online world. Data, identity, and activities tracked with precision. To start your journey toward online anonymity, you first need a clear reason. Why do you want to become a ghost online? Maybe it's to protect personal information, avoid intrusive ads, or simply reclaim control over your data. Knowing your purpose keeps you committed. Online anonymity isn't about hiding. It's about managing who sees you and how much they see. Remember, you're not alone. Many people are looking for a digital space where they're seen only as much as they choose. Step two, protect your connection. Start with a virtual private network or VPN. Think of it as a secure tunnel for all your online activity. Connecting to the internet without protection is like announcing your location on a giant billboard. A VPN masks your IP address, encrypts your data, and keeps you off the radar of prying eyes. But not all VPNs are created equal. Free services often collect and sell your data, so be willing to invest in a reliable, privacy-focused option like ExpressVPN or NordVPN. A VPN alone won't make you invisible, but it's an essential first step toward digital privacy. Protecting your connection is like locking your front door. It's just common sense. Step three. Limit your digital footprint. Think of every post, every online purchase, every like as a breadcrumb that could lead back to you. Anonymity requires a careful, thoughtful approach to what you put online. Avoid using your real name, address, or identifiable details on platforms where privacy isn't guaranteed. Consider alternative email addresses for different accounts, especially for sites where anonymity matters. Services like Proton Mail or Tuta are encrypted and privacy focused. For sensitive conversations, try encrypted messaging apps like Signal. Reducing your digital footprint isn't about erasing yourself from the internet, but managing what's visible. The fewer trails you leave, the harder you are to follow. Step four, strengthen your passwords. Your passwords are the keys to your online world, and yet weak or repeated passwords are like leaving those keys under the doormat. To stay anonymous, create complex, unique passwords for each account, ideally using a password manager. Tools like 1Password or Bitwarden generate and store encrypted passwords so you don't have to remember each one. Enable two-factor authentication wherever you can. It's like adding a second lock to your doors. Hackers can often guess simple passwords, but a strong password strategy significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access. Think of your passwords as a shield. They're essential for protecting your identity. Step five, use an anti-detect browser for advanced protection. For an extra layer of anonymity, consider using an anti-detect browser. This brings me to this video sponsor, Octo Browser. Anti-detect browsers allow you to create separate browser profiles with unique digital fingerprints, reducing the likelihood that websites and third parties can link your browsing sessions across different accounts or sites. This is especially useful if you manage multiple online identities or want to ensure your activities can't be easily tracked or grouped together. Perfect for becoming a ghost online. Octo Browser is the most advanced and user-friendly anti-detect browser on the market, designed to keep your digital fingerprints secure and untraceable. And now, Octo Browser has taken things a step further with the launch of its own proxy shop. Finding high-quality proxies at great prices just got a whole lot easier. You can purchase premium IP altering proxies directly in the app with special discounts for larger traffic volumes, ensuring that you get excellent value for your money. Octo Proxy Shop's rates are competitive with other leading providers, starting as low as 5 euros 25 cents per gigabyte for bulk purchases, or 7 euros per gigabyte for smaller volumes. For high volume users, you can enjoy up to 25% off your proxy costs Currently, there's a limited time bonus. Until December 2nd, all new Octo browser users receive free proxy traffic based on their subscription tier, up to 5 gigabytes. Just head to octobrowser.net, select the subscription that's right for you, and after payment, your bonus traffic will automatically be added to your account. As a new user, apply promo code PRIVACYMAT at checkout to get an extra 4 days of the starter subscription for free. Step 6. Use anonymous browsers and search engines. Most mainstream browsers and search engines track your activity and create detailed profiles based on your habits. 
consider switching to an anonymous browser, such as Tor, which masks your IP address and encrypts your data as it travels through a network of volunteer servers. While browsing with Tor might feel slower, it's a trade-off for enhanced privacy. For searches, try engines like DuckDuckGo or StartPage, which don't store your personal information or search history. Anonymous browsing is like wearing a mask. It keeps your identity safe from the default tracking embedded in most online experiences. Step 7. Be mindful of public Wi-Fi. Public Wi-Fi is convenient, but it's also risky. Think of it as a busy cafe where anyone can overhear your conversations. Hackers can easily intercept data on unprotected networks. If you must use public Wi-Fi, never log into personal accounts or make financial transactions without a VPN. Your data is like a private conversation. Keep it protected and away from open networks that make you vulnerable. Wherever possible, rely on your cellular network instead. Remember, anonymity is not just what you do, it's where you do it. Step eight, regularly check your privacy settings. Most online platforms offer privacy settings, but they're often buried and rarely default to maximum security. Make it a habit to regularly audit the privacy settings on your social media, email, and other online accounts. Limit what you share and who can see your information. It's like adjusting the blinds on your windows, letting in only as much light as you choose. Many platforms frequently update their settings, so revisiting them regularly ensures that your information remains private. Anonymity online is about taking control over who sees what, and setting these boundaries is the simplest way to reclaim your digital space. Step nine, use burner devices for high-risk activities. When maximum anonymity is crucial, consider using a separate device dedicated exclusively to high-risk or highly private activities. A burner phone or a second laptop that never connects to your main accounts, networks, or apps can add a valuable layer of separation between your personal identity and your anonymous activities. Think of it as a clean slate device with no data that could connect back to you. For situations where your mobile identity matters, use a prepaid burner phone that isn't linked to your personal accounts. Avoid connecting it to any personal networks or linking it to your primary phone. If you're serious about anonymity, consider using a second laptop with a separate operating system like Tails OS, a privacy-focused system designed to leave no trace. Always connect this device through a VPN and avoid any logins to your regular accounts. With burner devices, Use public Wi-Fi spots or unconnected networks rather than your home Wi-Fi. This keeps your activities from tracing back to your known locations or IP. This step may seem like overkill, but for those who want to ensure their identity is compartmentalized, burner devices provide a powerful way to achieve high-level separation. It's like having a second passport in the digital world, giving you an added layer of freedom and control over your online presence. Each of these steps alone won't make you invisible, but together, they create layers of protection, helping you to manage your online presence on your terms. Take each step one by one, and remember, online anonymity is about consistency and choice. You're building a digital boundary between yourself and a world that's watching. The more you protect, the more control you have over how you're seen, or if you're seen at all.